Hi everyone, I'm John from Radford Mathematics, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to convert between units of length, area, and volume, all of which will be in the metric system. And as you're about to see, rather than memorizing loads of conversion factors, all I'm going to ask from you is that you remember the conversion factors for length. So let's get started. First of all, I'll take care of lengths, and I'll just write that, lengths. Now the units that you need to be comfortable converting to and from are millimeters, centimeters, meters, and kilometers. And to convert a length written in any one of these units to the next, we need conversion factors. And here they are. To write a length that's in kilometers in meters, we need to multiply by 1,000. On the other hand, to convert from meters to centimeters, we multiply by 100. And finally, to convert something in centimeters into millimeters, we multiply by 10. Notice this nice little pattern here. It goes 1,000, 100, and 10. Easy to remember, right? Now, let's say I want to go in the opposite direction. In other words, let's say I want to convert millimeters to centimeters, centimeters to meters, and meters into kilometers. Well, the numbers between each of these units would be the same, but it's the operation that would be different. Instead of multiplying each time, I'm going to divide. So to convert from millimeters into centimeters, I divide by 10. From centimeters to meters, I divide by 100. And finally, from meters to kilometers, I divide by 1,000. Okay, now provided you're able to replicate this, you're going to be fine. So part of my advice would be to definitely practice drawing all of this a couple of times. And before I work through some examples, let me just point out that when we convert from a larger unit of length to a smaller one, we're always multiplying. On the other hand, when we convert from smaller units of length to larger ones, we're always dividing. So do keep that in mind. That being said, let's work through some examples. And I'll just write example here. There we go. And as a first example, let's say we're asked to write 7 meters in millimeters. Well, looking at the conversion diagram we have here, to get from meters to millimeters, I place myself here on the meters, and I follow the path along these green curved arrows here. And in doing so, I can see that I'd have to multiply my length in meters by 100, and then by 10. In other words, as I convert from meters to millimeters, I multiply the length by 100 times 10, which is 1,000. And so 7 meters in millimeters would be 7 times 1,000, which is 7,000 millimeters. Done. Let's look at another example. Say we had to convert 12 centimeters into meters. Well, looking at all of this, I can see that to get from centimeters to meters, we need to divide by 100. And so I can quickly do that here. We have to do 12 divided by 100. And you can go ahead and check that that's equal to 0 0.12. So 12 centimeters is 0 0.12 meters. Done. Let's look at one more example, and then we'll move on to areas. And for this one, say we have to write 8 centimeters in kilometers. Okay, well again, we place ourselves on the centimeters here, and we follow the path to get to kilometers. And so we can see that to get from centimeters to meters, we divide by 100, and then from meters to kilometers, we divide by 1,000. In other words, to get from centimeters to kilometers, we divide by 100 and then by 1,000, which is 100,000. And so I can write that, I'm dividing 8 by 100,000. And doing that leads us to 0 0.00008 kilometers. And that's the answer. Now, quite often in exam questions, because of how small and sometimes how large the numbers get, particularly when working with areas and volumes, we'll often be asked to write our answer in standard form. And so if I did that for this number here, since it's less than 1, to write it in standard form, I need to count how many zeros I have before the first significant figure. In other words, how many zeros I see here before the 8. And you can go ahead and check, but I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 zeros before the 8. And that tells me that I could also write this as 8 times 10 to the power of negative 5. And again, that's kilometers. And there we go. That's how we can convert between units of length. Now, let's move on to learn how to convert between units of area. And I'll just write areas here. There we go. Areas. Okay. As I said at the beginning of this video, with the method I'm about to show you, you won't have to memorize all the conversion factors for area. 
and you won't have to memorize them for volumes either. So let me show you how that works with my first example. And I'll just write example here. And let's say we're asked to convert six square meters to square centimeters. Well, here's the idea. I'm going to draw a rectangle whose area is six square meters. And to do that, I draw a rectangle looking something like this. There we go, that's good enough. And to make sure that its area is six square meters, all I do is make its base six meters long. And then its height is just one meter. And you can go ahead and check, but if you try and calculate this rectangle's area, it's base times height, so it's six meters times one meter, which is six square meters. So the setup is good. And now to convert this into square centimeters, I convert each of the lengths I have here into centimeters. And I can do that with my conversion diagram at the top here. So let's see, to convert six meters into centimeters, well, to get from meters to centimeters, we multiply by 100. So six meters in centimeters would be six times 100, so that's 600 centimeters. And to convert one meter to centimeters, it would work the same way. And so one times 100 is just 100, so that's 100 centimeters. Now, to convert six square meters into square centimeters, I calculate this rectangle's area again, but this time I use the lengths in centimeters. And so that would be area equals to 600 centimeters times 100 centimeters. And so I'll just write 600 times 100. And you can go ahead and check, but 600 times 100 is 60,000. And there we go, that's 60,000 square centimeters. And we're done. And so in fact, I can write my answer here, six square meters in square centimeters is 60,000 square centimeters. Done. Okay, let's quickly look at another example. I'll just draw a vertical line here to separate all the working. There we go. I'll quickly look at a second example here. And let's say we have to convert 25 square millimeters to square meters. Okay, well, the method doesn't change. I start by drawing a rectangle. So I'll make it look like this. I've got my rectangle. There we go. I'll make this rectangle's base 25 millimeters long. And its height, well, it's just going to be one millimeter long. So one millimeter here. And of course you can check, but this rectangle's area is 25 square millimeters. And now to convert 25 square millimeters into square meters, I convert each of the two lengths I have here into meters. So let's see, I'll start by converting 25 millimeters into meters. And for that, I can use my conversion table over here. To get from millimeters to meters, I need to divide by 10, then divide by 100. And dividing by 10 followed by 100, well, that's the same thing as dividing by 1,000, 10 times 100. So in meters, this 25 millimeters would be 25 divided by 1,000, which is 0 0.025 meters. Now I do the same for the one millimeter I have here. And the conversion factor from millimeters to meters won't change, so I just need to divide this one by a thousand as well. And you can go ahead and check, but one divided by a thousand is 0 0.001. And those are meters. Finally, to find what 25 square millimeters is in square meters, I calculate this rectangle's area using the lengths we just found in meters. And so that would be area equals to 0 0.025 times 0 0.001. And by all means check, but I find that that's equal to 0 0.000025. And that's in square meters. And we're done. And now if ever we had to write this answer in standard form, well, because it's less than one, all we have to do is count how many zeros we see before this two here. And I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five zeros. And those five zeros mean a power of negative five on the 10 when we write this in standard form. In other words, we could also write this area as 2.5 times 10 to the power of negative five square meters. Done. And there we go. 25 square millimeters corresponds to 0 0.000025 square meters. Done. Okay, now what's really cool is that the method we've just seen with rectangles can be extended for volumes. And all I'm going to have to do for that is add depth to these drawings that I make. In other words, rather than looking at rectangles, I'm now going to look at cuboids. So let's see how that works. 
and I'll just write volumes here, volumes, there we go. Again, I'll just dive right in with some examples. As a first example, let's say we have to write 4 cubic meters in cubic centimeters. Well, here's how we can do that. We draw a cuboid, which looks like this. I have a face here, which is a rectangle, and now I add some depth to it, like this. There we go. And now I need to make sure that this cuboid's volume is equal to 4 cubic meters. And for that, I just make sure that this longer side here is 4 meters long. And for the depth and the height, well, I'll just make sure that they're 1 meter long. And I'll write that here. The depth is 1 meter and the height is 1 meter as well. And this cuboid's volume is therefore 4 times 1 times 1, which is 4. Now, to convert 4 cubic meters into cubic centimeters, I'm going to write each of these lengths in centimeters. And we know how to do that. Indeed, to write 4 meters in centimeters, I multiply by 100, so 400 centimeters. And to convert 1 meter into centimeters, I multiply by 100 as well. So I'll have 100 centimeters as my height, and 100 centimeters as the depth. And now, to find what 4 cubic meters is in cubic centimeters, all I have to do is calculate this cuboid's volume using the lengths I have in centimeters. And so that would be the volume which equals to 400 times 100 times 100. Remember, that's my width of 400, my depth of 100, and the height of 100 as well. And you can go ahead and check, but multiplying all of those together, that's equal to 4 million cubic centimeters. There we go. And because this is a large number, we could write this in standard form. And for that, we need to count how many digits we have after the first one. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six digits after this four. And so in standard form, this would be four times 10 to the power of six cubic centimeters. And there we go. We can now conclude that four cubic meters is four million cubic centimeters. Done. Okay, let's look at one last example. I'll just draw a separation line here. There we go. And I'll write that example at the top here. Let's say we need to convert 17 cubic millimeters to cubic centimeters. And I'll just write 17 cubic millimeters in cubic centimeters. Well, again, I start by drawing a rectangular cuboid, something looking like this. There we go. And I add the depth here, like so. Now, since I want to convert 17 cubic millimeters, I'll make this long length here 17 millimeters. So I write that, that's 17 millimeters. And for the depth and the height, they'll both equal to one millimeter. And since I want to convert these cubic millimeters into cubic centimeters, I rewrite each of these lengths in centimeters. So let's see, to convert 17 millimeters to centimeters, I can go back to my conversion diagram if needs be, and I can see that to get from millimeters to centimeters, we need to divide by 10. And 17 divided by 10, is 1.7. So this is equal to 1.7 centimeters. Next, I convert the one millimeter depth and the one millimeter height into centimeters as well. And the conversion factor stays the same. I need to divide by 10 again. And so one divided by 10 is 0.1. So we'll have 0.1 centimeters and 0.1 centimeters again. Finally, to convert 17 cubic millimeters into cubic centimeters, I calculate my cuboid's volume by multiplying each of the lengths we have in centimeters. And so that would be the volume equals to 1.7 times 0.1 times 0.1. And by all means check, but I find that that leads to volume equals to 0.017 with the units cubic centimeters. And we're done. So 17 cubic millimeters is 0.017 cubic centimeters. And there we go. That's how we can convert units of length, area, and volume in the metric system. And that's it for this tutorial.